We're here in Africa on the eastern savanna grasslands. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Martin. We're the Krat Brothers. When you're heading out on a creature adventure, you have to make sure to pack all your gear. Like headlamps, water bottles, granola bar, everything you might need when you're in the bush. Because if you forget something while you're out there, you could be in trouble. Uh, Chris? Oh, whoa. A giraffe? Amazing. That's the longest neck in the world right there, sticking its head right in the window. This is one way to start a giraffe adventure. Wow, this giraffe's neck is longer than my whole body. We got to get out there and check it out. Come on. All right, we'll be right outside. Don't go anywhere. Oh, wow. Now look at them all. Giraffes of all different ages. We're like puny compared to these guys. Even the newborn babies are taller than we are. That one was born just a week ago. And that baby giraffe is only two months old, and look how huge he is. A baby human two months old would be only about this big and wouldn't even be able to walk. These giraffes can walk 15 minutes after they're born. A young giraffe will stay with his mom for about a year and then head off on his own. It'll take him four more years to grow as tall as his mom. Five meters tall. The tallest creature in the world. But why? Why is a giraffe so tall? Why the long neck? Imagine if we could try it out. Find out what it's like to have the long neck of a giraffe. Then we'd really figure out the power of the giraffe's neck. What, what if? Like her. Don't look all innocent. I know it was you, girl. A giraffe? No, look at her. She's just out for a morning stroll. She's the only one tall enough to do it. Yeah, that's the tallest animal in the world right there. Up to five meters tall. That's taller than three grown-up people. Wow, just her neck is much longer than I am. Why do they have such long necks anyway? Scientists are still working on the answer to that one. There we go, all finished. These new retractable windows I installed will give us some fresh air. You know, I bet I know why giraffes have long necks. To reach tasty leaves high in the trees. Oh yeah? Well, I heard it had something to do with how they fight each other. Kinda like elk have big antlers for fighting. Neck fighting? No way, who fights with their neck? Oh, hey! Well, why would they need to get leaves up high when there's much more food lower down, like grass and bushes? Hmm. Ow! What? Chris, Martin, you're the creature experts. Tell Koki she's wrong on this one. Tell Aviva she's telling a tall tale about giraffes. Well, actually, it's not really that simple. Why don't we find out for ourselves? We'll figure out the mystery of the planet's longest neck with an experiment. Do you have a giraffe disc we can use? Oh, right here. Of course not. I can't just make this stuff out of thin air, you know. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to be a pain in the neck. Get it? Neck. Giraffe. Oh, 
Hey, well, I thought it was a good one. Okay, so we'll get out there and figure out what the giraffe's long neck is all about while you guys work on the giraffe suit. Sounds Indeed. good. Whew, it's good to get out of there. Yeah, it was getting kind of tense. Wow, for the world's tallest animals, giraffes are sure hard to find. I know. We found endangered frogs that are easier to spot. There's got to be some giraffe around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, hello. Martin, we found a giraffe. What? Where? Right there. <gasps> yeah. Oh, there. <gasps> you mean he found us. <laughs> First things first, if we're gonna understand what a giraffe's neck is all about, we gotta know how it's built. Great, let's get a measurement. All set, Chris. Two meters. That's taller than most people. A neck as long as a person. That's incredible. Whoa! 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 Just a little tied up here. Necktie. Oh, that's a good name. Mind if we call you Necktie? Guys, stop messing around. I need to know how that neck's built. We're on it. I can see that, but I need to know what's in it. Scanning neck and uplinking image feed. <laughs> neck inspection complete. Incoming scan image. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same number of neck bones as we have, only the bones are much longer than ours, or a gazelle's. And what's that? Special valves on the blood vessels. It takes so much effort for the giraffe to pump blood all the way up to his head that he has an extra large heart and special blood vessels to keep the blood from flowing all the way back down. Wow, with all these special features, a long neck is definitely important for something. Ahem, <clears throat> reaching leaves. Neck battles. Anyway, this scan is what we need to replicate the neck for the power suits. If we just adjust the programming in a few places, it should work. Okay, disc maker, engage. All set. Aviva! Is the suit done yet? Just finished the disc, putting the suits back together now. Hurry! We don't want to lose this giraffe! Okay, okay, I'm going as fast as I can. Now are you done? Okay, easy, guys. I mean, really. Wait, did I install the deactivation module? We can't wait! Uh, okay, okay, yes, I'm done. There, all set. Jimmy? Uh, zap it! <laughs> Whew! Pull that off in record time. No problem. A mixed herd of herbivores. This is great. Yeah, all these different looking creatures eat grass and leaves, but do they all eat exactly the same plants or what? We need to get in the middle of the action to find out. I'll stick with necktie. Oof, maze. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and I'll go zebra. Power. Power. Heads up! Zebra power! Giraffe power! Herbivores, here we come! <laughs> you go ahead. I gotta figure out how to balance this neck. The gazelles are nibbling on the delicate, tender grasses. They're not eating the thicker, tougher stuff. Ah, oh, but the zebras are. They eat big mouthfuls of the thick, tough, hard-to-digest grass. It all looks like a bunch of grass, but the herbivores are naturally splitting things up. It's nature's know-how at work again. And if the grass eaters are doing it, Maybe the leaf eaters like the giraffe are doing it too. Martin, we've got a breakthrough here. Yeah, me too. Look, I got this long neck balancing thing down. Uh, 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 almost. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Chris. Woo, everything looks different from way up here. Everything's so small. <gasps> like those cute little kittens over there. <gasps> Where? <gasps> Where? Right there, behind those. <gasps> uh, wait a second, those aren't kittens there. Lions! Run! Whoa! Add another benefit of a long neck to the list. A giraffe's eye view for spotting danger far away. Necktie! Oh no! A classic lion ambush. Have one lion hide up ahead, while two others push the prey straight towards them. They do that on purpose. Whoa! A hoof kick! That's a dinner plate sized hoof right in the face! Yeah, with enough power to kill a lion. Oh, they've had enough. They're out of here. Whoa. Okay, okay, that's enough herbivore action for now. Deactivate, dude. <laughs> deactivate. <laughs> I can't deactivate. Oh, no, oh, no. I'm stuck in giraffe mode. I'm a sitting duck out here like this. Easy, bro. It's probably just a little glitch. Hang on. Aviva, come in! What's going on, guys? Did you prove my theory? Not yet. Little problem. Martin's suit is jammed in giraffe mode. Little problem? You mean big, long problem. It won't deactivate. Oh, no, the deactivation module. What? What about it? Oh, no, I thought I might have forgotten something. But it's... it's gone! You lost it? You mean my suit can't deactivate? I don't know what happened. It was right on my workstation, and now it's gone. But don't worry. I have the plans right here. I always keep the plans. I'll just make a new deactivation module. Install it into your suit, and problem solved. Whew. Well, I had a real lump in my throat for a while there. Great. So now we can get back to the mystery of the giraffe's long neck. Whoa, Martin's really having a hard time with that long neck. I'd better get to work on this. Hmm? Uh, the plans. Did you guys take them or something? What? Uh, we should probably hurry up with this experiment because ah, I'm getting a crick in my neck. A what? A crick, a sore neck. Ah, I'm telling you, this suit is a killer. Well, being a giraffe will help with the experiment, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, no problem. I love being attacked by lions. Just work on that hoof kick and you'll be fine, bro. You mean, like this? <laughs> oh, giraffe should play soccer! Oh. <sighs> okay, great. This is where we've got to be, the trees. If only we could start our experiment with trees that hadn't been eaten by anyone at all. Yeah. No giraffes, no impala, nobody. A blocked off set of trees. No problem. I've got a place like that. What? what? It's my special place. My favorite spot. You know, if I need to get away to... To get some sleep. Oops. <laughs> but it's kind of scary out there sometimes. So I built a fence around the trees to keep the lions and hyenas out. That's great. So you already started the experiment. Yeah, well, you know, I do it for the team. Where's the spot? I'll send the coordinates. Actually, Jimmy and I'll meet you there. I want to be there when you prove I'm right about the mystery of the giraffe's neck. Besides, Aviva needs more time to look for the... Mm. What? Time to look for what? Well... 